Hi there, welcome to this um, new video on uh, RSA encryption and we're going to be making RSA public and private keys and a RSA encrypted message um, that you can send to your friends um, using the Python scripts and codes that we've downloaded previously. So what are we going to be needing today? We're going to be needing to use Python programming language. This can be got from this web address. And we're also going to be using the Python hacking tools that you can get from this web address at eventwithpython.com uh, forward slash hacking forward slash source. Uh, I went over this in the very first um, <coughs> video uh, to do with this series. Sorry, that was just a video uploading to YouTube now. Um, but it went through how to download them and install them and get them all ready so you can use your uh, Python scripts to encrypt and decrypt different ciphers. So in this video we're going to look at the RSA um, encryption skills and techniques that you can use to encrypt messages um, and send them to your friends. In the previous video we looked at decrypting RSA messages using public key and a private key. This time we're going to look at how we make them make a public key and a private key and how we encrypt a message, a plain text message that you can read now and then encrypt it so that it looks like a bunch of uh, numbers and then we'll go over decrypting it um, towards the end. Okay, so how do we go about making our public and private keys? Well, you need to go to your Python programs, <coughs> how I've shown you to do it before, and you need to go to your hacking folder that has all your Python scripts in it. Uh, mine's on my desktop, but yours will be somewhere else, wherever you've put it. And we're going to use the make RSA keys. Okay, so we're going to open that file. I've already got mine open. And this is what it looks like. Okay, so at the very top we have the link to the Invent with Python. If you get stuck, you can always revert back to them and uh, get some more information. <coughs> the lines that we need to be concerned with is the make key files. This is what we're going to name our files, our, pu our public and private key. Um, so we're going to give them like a prefix so we can identify them and in this example, this video, I've given them the, the example of example underscore a okay, so it'll be under, uh, example underscore a and it will be followed by underscore pubkey.txt or underscore privkey.txt now when I make them, they will be automatically created and they will be put inside the um, folder here with your um, Python scripts. Okay, so let's go ahead and make these public key and private key now. Okay, so we've got our make keys file example a underscore a, and we've got a key pair of 1024 bits per key. Okay, so when we run this, we will make the public key and private key, and they will be automatically put into that Python folder. So what we need to do now is save this document, and then we need to run it, run the script. You can either press run, run module, or you can press F5. And as you can see, it's made us the two keys. The first one is the public key, goes all the way from here uh, down to here. Do not include the brackets or the word public key. Okay? Don't cop you don't actually need to copy and paste anything because it's already been made. If I show you now. Right, there we go. We've got example A private key, example A public key or pub key. These are the two keys that we're going to need to use to encrypt our message. Okay, so what we need to do now is we need to encrypt our message. Okay, let's so go to open and you need to go to <coughs> RSA cipher. So you click on that, open up that script, my one's already open. 
here we have the RSA cipher. Right, now the lines that we need to be concerned with is this file name, okay, and it's going to be um, where we're going to put our encrypted message once we've done the encryption it's going to go and be stored there. So what we need to do is in our Python folder we need to put uh, create a new notepad file called encrypted text or whatever you want to call it. Leave it blank, save it, <clears throat> but it needs to be saved in the same folder where your public key and private key is going to be. And I've called mine example a underscore text. Oh, wrong page. <clears throat> See here, it's the file name example underscore um, example a underscore text dot txt. That's where our encrypted message is going to go once we've encrypted it. Now the mode, <clears throat> this time it's going to be encrypt. We can choose to encrypt or decrypt the message, but we're going to encrypt a message. Okay, so we're going to make it all jumbled up and loads of numbers so no one can read it <clears throat> unless they decrypt it using these uh, these scripts. Now, the message line can be whatever you like. Um, I've just put in a general message saying welcome to the world of RSA encryption. You have successfully decrypted this message. You are a star. Now this is the message that they will get once they have decrypted the message, uh, decrypted it using the public key and the private key, um, using the Python scripts. Then we got the public key file name, and ours is example underscore a underscore pubkey.txt. Now this file is in the Python scripts folder. Um, these are the two files, private key and public key, so they're both there. Okay. And um, <clears throat> also our private key down here on the else elif. Um, private key file name example underscore a underscore priv key dot txt okay so once we've got all that checked and that's all all right we need to do file save and then we need to run it so you can either press run run module or you can press f5 there we go there's our encrypted message okay Bunch of, no, bunch of uh, numbers, no one can read it, means absolutely nothing to anybody who doesn't know what they're doing. And now if we look at the encrypted text file, there we go, there's our numbers in the file, ready to be unscrambled. Okay, so what we're going to do now is we, imagine we've just received this from someone, and we now need to decrypt it. So, our file name will change to the file name. Imagine we've just started, this is all different. We need to change this to the encrypted text file. The mode needs to be decrypt. And then the message line, you need to get rid of whatever we have here. Okay, now you need to open up that message file and you need to select all and copy and then you need to put it between these um, two double quotes so it's a big huge long number now the public key will remain the same the private key will remain the same so you can go ahead and save that and then you can run this script by pressing run, run modules or you can press F5 and there we go. Reading from example a text.txt and decrypting. The decrypted text says, welcome to the world of RSA encryption. You have successfully decrypted this message. You are a star. And there we go. That's all it is to it. We've used the public key and the private key. And we've used the encrypted text file. <clears throat> and we've uh, unencrypted the message. Okay, if you like what you've seen and would like to know more or have a go at this, um, send me a message and I can send you some public key and private keys and messages um, and you can have a go at breaking these yourself. Uh, send me an email, leave my student university email or my private email. They are both in the description of this video um, and I'll get back to you as quickly as I can.
Thank you very much. <laughs>